Hey, what's up, guys? This is Fatal Cubes here, and in this video, we will be creating the tile class for the 2048 game. Let's go ahead and make a new class called Tile. Now, this tile refers to a a single game tile. Okay, so we need some static final integers. This will be the width in pixels of the tile, and we're actually going to make these 80. Okay. This is the speed per update at which they move across when you slide them. Um, and uh, if you noticed when I gave a preview of the game, we use rounded rectangles, so you do need an arc width and an arc height. And I'm making them public because the game board class needs to know these variables as well. So that's it for static variables uh, that are public. Now these will be some private variables that only the tile knows about. So the value, the actual tile image. So this will be like the background and the text on it. The background color, the text color. Um, we need an X and a Y for where to draw on the screen. And we need a font. Alright, um, that's it for now on declaring variables. We'll come back to this class later when we get to the animation stuff. But let's go ahead and create our constructor. So we need a value, uh, 2, 4, 8, 16, and, and an x and y position. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this dot value equals value. This dot x equals x set some of those things and then we're going to draw the image so this will get this will draw to the tile image um, whatever number and background there is alright so let's go ahead and create that method to draw, our, to draw our image first thing we need to do is get the graphics element um, of the tile image and what I forgot to do was actually create the tile image in here so let's go ahead and do tile image equals new buffered image the width and height are going to be width height and uh, we're going to do buffered image that type underscore int and we're gonna do ARGB so that we can draw transparent pixels to the buffered image so graphics 2dg equals we'll get the graphics element of the tile image so that we can go ahead and draw to it so now We've got the paper. I like to think of the graphics to it, 2D element, uh, 2D thing as the sort of pencil, and the image is the paper. So we've got the pencil set up. Now we can start drawing to the paper, and we're gonna have to go through and set different colors. So this is gonna be a little, a lot of typing here, because um, we have to check each one and then set the color in hex, or not hex. Uh, well, we're going to use hexadecimal, I guess. No, no, we're going to use... What's that thing called? I don't know. Anyways. You'll know what I mean when I create it. I don't know why I can't remember it right now. Alright. That, uh, the text is going to be in... One, two, one, two, one, two. Alright, so that'll be black. And the background will be a gray color, I believe. 
If you want to set different colors, you can just go ahead into Photoshop and uh, pick whatever color you want and then just copy the value. You could do a, uh, RGB if you wish. I'm just using this because it was easier. And uh, um, the value equals 4. Then the background is going to be a new color of 0 times E6 DA AB. And the text is going to be equal to new color. Boom, 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 boom. Let's copy that. So 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, boom. All right, that's good for now. We'll change this to 8, 16. 32, 64, 128, and the 2048 block. All right, uh, let's go ahead and start modifying these colors more. So the eight is gonna be zero times, I'm reading this off of a paper, you guys would probably have to go ahead into Photoshop, like I was saying. Now, the rest of the ones are going to have all Fs because they're all going to be white text. All right. Now for 16, we're going to do 0 times F2, 8, 0, 0, 7. 32 is going to be 0 times F, 5, 5, E, 3, B. 64 is going to be 0 times F, F, 1, 2, 1, 2. That's pure red. 128, E, 9, D, E, 8, 4. You can skip this part of the video if you want to get your own colors. This is just if you want to use the colors that I'm using. 256 and you do 0 times F5E 455. This is going to be 0 times F5E 4. Whoops, my bad. F7, E12, C. All right, if it's the 2048 block, we're going to set it to almost done here. That color. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to say, well, if it's any other value, if it gets any higher... Um, you guys can you can set them if you want if you want to like have 4096 be a certain color I'm just gonna do set the background equal to color black and the text equal to color dot white so it'll just be a black and white tile all right, finally, we've got it. Uh, we have our tile sorted here. Now, let's go ahead and set the color to a completely transparent color. All zeros. We're then going to fill in the rectangle. Oops, my bad. Set the color to whatever we decided as the background color and fill a round rectangle. Zero, zero, width, height, arc width, arc height. We have all of those set. You can change them if you want a more dramatic arc. Just make it bigger. Now we're going to set the color to our text color and we're going to go ahead and draw on some text. If the value is less than or equal to 64, then it's a two-digit number. 
So basically, the font is going to be game dot main dot dot derive font. We're going to use a float size, and we're going to say we're going to do thirty six f. We think that's big enough. Otherwise, uh, we're just going to set the font equal to whatever the main font is. Set the font to the font. Move that out here. All right. Now let's go ahead and make a new class called Draw Utils. This is going to just have two methods, just two helper methods. This class itself is really small. All right, we're not going to create a constructor, or you could do this. This basically says that you can't create a version of this class because it's just used for static variables. We want to be able to get the message with, basically for centering it on the screen. So we need a method. All right, so what this basically does is it'll go ahead and see how wide import this font can't be reserved to a type. Hold on. I don't know what happened there. Um Alright, anyways, import that, get that all set up. So the message width will take in a number like five, uh, like 64, let's say, and depending on the font, it'll, it'll tell you how wide the message is, or how wide 64 is in terms of pixels, and with that uh, knowledge, we can then center it on the tile. Um, you could do all this math in the tile, but we... You're going to use this method a lot in terms of centering text, so you might as well make a utility function like this so you can use it anywhere. All right, so we create a rectangle out of the boundaries of. Uh, whatever the font is and the message and then we just have to return the width get get width all right that gets you the width now we need to get the height now with fonts getting height can be a little tricky because Uh, the way Java uses fonts in terms of drawing is it builds in it builds in some padding into the into the height of a uh, letter. So let's say you have a font that's size 28. You normally expect each letter to just be 28 pixels tall. If you just did you know rectangle 2D bounds equals whatever, and then you get the height. But it turns out that that would give in that would build in some spacing. So if it was like a size 28 font, it might be 32 pixels tall and this can mess you up in terms of centering things so this method will fix that so if the length is 0 then there's gonna be an error so we're just gonna return 0 you don't wanna deal with that otherwise you have to create a text layout based off of the message and the font whoops And the get font render context. All right, so the text layout is like a way of uh, of getting how big a message is. So we want to get the bounds of that. All right, so we have this nice little class here. 
uh, it basically uses utility functions and now you'll see how we use that in the tile class so the draw X is going to be the half the width so basically the center of the tile minus draw utils dot get message width of our blank plus value font G divided by 2 so what that's going to do is it's going to do width divided by 2 get the center and then move to the left half of the message width so that will essentially get the the top X coordinate for centering the message the Y is going to be similarly the height divided by 2 but instead of minus we're going to do plus I'll explain in a moment uh, that's plus the value divided by 2 the reason you do plus is because uh, for some reason I'm not 100% sure why when you draw letters in Java it starts from the bottom left instead of the top left corner so you have to add half the height instead of subtract it then you can draw the string as this plus the value draw x draw y blah blah there you go and dispose of the graphics when you're done and that's basically much, that's basically it for this tutorial um, I guess if you wanted to test this out you could create a tile object and draw it but we're not going to yet we're gonna focus on making the game board and then adding tiles to that and drawing it then for now we're just gonna leave this as it is we will come back to this to add in the animations but there's no point in doing that now this will draw the basic tile based on whatever value you give it uh, 2 through whatever 2048 if it's any value but one of these that we've uh, specified it'll just be black and white though you could do another else if if the value is 4096 8192 16384 and you can just keep going on like that but I've decided not to do that and I guess that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one where we will do something. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to be doing the next tutorial. So I'll just see you guys there.